All right, well, there's a reason why I am not finishing my Gettysburg game. And that's because me and my buddy Eric are getting ready to go fishing. This is our little setup. How we get down these trails to get to the fish. Oh, no. Usually takes two of us. And if you have it balanced out right, it ain't too bad. I don't think we got it balanced out right. Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. Press pause. All right. A little out of breath, but all good to go. Pull it kind of like a wheelbarrow. And we are back here. There you go. Long ways. Take a little break before we have to go up that hill. But it's all worth it. You'll see. We'll be right back. All right, and when it gets all, when you get all said and done with it, whew, a little bit of effort, but it'd be worth it. Ain't nobody down here, and the fishing would be good. This lake here goes on. Ooh, excuse me. Right and everything. For, uh, for a long ways. We'll have more fishing videos here in a second. Be back from the Peabody Coal Strip Pits. All right, start off a little slow. They're getting there. And, uh, well, my buddy can cast a little better, but getting them on these little Zara spooks. There you go. This is about my third one, so we've only been here a few minutes. Back in the water they go. Listen through these pits. Be back. All right, we're going to zoom on my buddy Eric's cast, because they're pretty well every cast coming on up. Bad things. Yeah. I think we just got done catching like five or six of them. Nothing really big, about 12, 13, maybe 14 inches. One of these times are going to be a... The one you just caught was probably 15, dude. Yeah. They're in our pit. It's way common today. I might think that might have had an impact. Peacock bass, that's how good they're hitting this thing most of the time, but we'll make a liar out of us now that we're filming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's those freaking horse flies like B-52s. Here, try to try to back this way and this kind of stuff back here when you get a chance. See if they're up there in the shadows this way. There's another flat all the way down there. Let's yeah, go over here some. There you go. Work a little bit slower. All right, we're gonna get him in a really juicy spot. We'll be right back. This, they might know we're here in this spot here. Oh, no, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> no, I missed. Eric got him over the tree limb. The thing was dangling in the water. All right, we're going to head on down here to the end of this pit. You can see how this thing is narrow. kind of looks maybe like a river on the camera. But uh, this is just a vein when they cut, when they dug for coal, they dug all these deep veins. So a lot of these pits are straight, are really deep. I mean, it goes from, you know, straight on down. But every once in a while, like in the ends, or in the corners, you'll have a little bit of a flat. And I think that's where most of them are. We can see there's some breaking up here. Eric, we got some schools of bait for the shop middle. We're gonna go down there and hit down to the flats down there. It seems to be the pattern today. You see the water's really clear. They uh, quit mining for coal in these pits, I think back down, back in the 30s. So this place has been reclamated or reclaimed. Ooh, well, I don't know, 100 years, 90 years, so. There you go, a little bit of cloud cover. Should be some good fishing. We'll try to get some on camera. Figured out the pattern. We're back here on these flats, and luckily for us, this is all just five or six foot of water. And see, here you go. We got the pattern. Yeah, oh, you spit him. <laughs> They're almost every cast. Hold on, Eric. 
See this log right in front of me? Next cast, go right over that log. Go over it about fucking 15, 20 feet. My buddy Eric, we're gonna catch, catch a fish for you. As I see that log sticking up there, he's gonna try to cast about maybe about 10 yards past it. And bring it on up, we'll zoom in, catch him. There he goes, my buddy Eric getting himself. Oh, we gotta get set up, he's gotta get everything perfect. These fish will fucking spit you if you ain't got everything the right way. And believe me, there's plenty of hooks, line, and everything. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh, well, he's right by the log. God darn it! It's flipping back and forth, and now it's all right. Hold on. All right, we're gonna try to see what we can do. What did you get fouled? Okay, I got something on there. Try to get past that log. Nobody's. That's fresh water back there. And try to get way past it. And this water, I don't know if you can see how clear it is down there, but it's like gin. Very clear, so they're able to see this. The key is to throw these lures way far away from you so they don't scare them. The distance is the key. Okay. I don't see where he went. Oh, he's all the way out there. Was that a good cast, or was that meant to be? <laughs> is it... Alright, hold on. We'll get a good cast for you and I'll be right back. Ah. Uh, you're gonna be able to get it without getting stuck. Ah, uh, he's over the wall. <laughs> Bad cast today for Eric. You can fill for me. Hold on a second. Alright, yeah, hold on. Yeah, you're on the log. Hold on. Alright, I'm changing the lures. Using this little. It's called a uh, shadow. It's weedless. We can get it over this weed, so what I'm going to do is cast over that little hole there. I'm almost guaranteed we're going to get a fish, but my buddy's tying on something as soon as he gets ready. We will try to get this one on camera. This is the back of the of the cut. And you can see here, I'm, we found the pattern. They're all back here in the fucking flats. So, yeah, you can catch them almost every cast. We're looking for that big two or three pounder. We're only able to get maybe little one, two pounders, but it's still, for, it's still fun, yeah. So as soon as we can, he's gonna. I'm gonna hand this over to him. He's gonna film that little spot here, and when we do, we'll be right back. I don't know what you guys can see, but there's bass fingerlings in here. I'll just tell my buddy how rich the water looks. I can't see nothing on the screen, but a big glare. So hopefully we're filming some. What I did one time was let me try this. Put the lens in front of the. I can't even find the lens. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. There you go. You might be able to see better in the water like that. With the lens. Yeah, it's polarized. Like I said, I don't know what you're seeing, but we're going for that, for that big hole there. Although my clothes are going out of style before my buddy gets himself. So, God. All right, we'll be back. Right. Try to get it on that hole. Ready? There you go, man. Catch him. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Never fails when you're on camera. I'm doing it like last couple casts. Pause for technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> Any other time to cast a mile. Alright. Oh, I did. Nothing. Slow it down. Right, I'll, I'll try it one more time. I'll try to get to a different spot. Slow it down. I got him. There you go. Oh, now he took off. All right, press it out. It's all right. 